Hello, everybody. My name is Vincent Ortiz. I'm here with Patrick and Aero from Symptobri Chiropractic. How are you doing, guys? Doing great, doing man. Great. Thanks for having us. Uh, thank you for coming. Um, uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for taking out of your super busy schedule to be here in, with me in this interview. Um, first of all, I would like to let people have an idea uh, of what is Syntropy. What can you tell to the students that are coming here for the first time for this program um, what Syntropy is? Yeah, sure. Um, basically, Aaron and I, we, we've been teaching this for a long time. We have this training program that we do, and it's for it's for everybody. It's for uh, first year or first quarter students, even. Uh, we've got a lot of experienced veteran docs that have been in practice for 30 years. And the reason it seems to work pretty well for all of those people is because it's just, man, it's just the essentials. It's the basics of chiropractic. And what Aaron and I did is we went we trained with a lot of really amazing, amazing chiropractors. We've been nerding out on chiropractic for a long, long time. And um, we just kind of, we went to reverse engineer what the masters do naturally. And so these, there's these certain common traits and we learned how to break that down and make it chunked into a way that you can train it. So no matter where you're at, if you continue to focus on these five elements that we teach and dive in deep, it will take you all the way through your career from like just beginning and feeling like clumsy with your hands to being in practice for 30 years and seeing miracles every day. No matter where you are, it'll just take you farther along that path. Yeah, we talk about how if you're, you say from clumsy to competent, mm -hmm. competent to masterful and then masterful to elite. <laughs> so there's always just taking people to the next level wherever they're at to become the best adjusters that they can possibly be. Yeah. So I remember when I was in, right now I'm in seventh quarter, mm -hmm. and the first time that I attend to a Syntropy seminar was in my second quarter. And I remember that that was a life changing experience because of the way of how you teach everything. You go A, B, C, one, two, three, and that is something that we don't get, you know, like in most seminars. we sometimes go to a seminar they teach us or they show us seven things now go and do it and you know when you're teaching me when i'm beginning you're teaching me the seven thing i already forgot the first the second and third thing yes. you know you make sure that everybody goes to a process of learning one thing now go and practice then you teach a second thing and now go and practice um i always wonder what inspired you guys to do this? Mm -hmm. I mean, what was your inspiration? Who were your mentors? Um, how did you decide from being a chiropractor to teach in seminars around the world? Be be before we get into that, love to, to talk about that, but we as well never got this, what we teach. We never received this in any seminar. And of course we never got this at school, not bashing schools at all. They're doing the best that they can. But we, um, this developed out of us being like, how are these masters doing it? And then just being completely obsessed about it and breaking it down. And Patrick has this beautiful mind, like an engineer's mind. How can you reverse engineer what all these amazing people have done? And then we just, we got together and decided like, okay, we've been in practice for a while now. We're having great results in practice. We love chiropractic. It's like, speak for him. One of our very, very, very favorite things how do we teach this? And some students asked us to teach them. Actually, Patrick's wife asked us, will, uh, will you teach us how to do this? And then it began this whole new challenge of being good at something, but then how do you teach it? Yeah. Yeah, really, really cool story. Like, I mean, this came about from sucking at something, from not being good at it. And I remember going to that first seminar and getting an adjustment where I was like, oh my God, it was a before and after experience was life shifting for me and it frustrated me so much because I couldn't do it but I knew if somebody else could do it then I could figure it out right so we just worked and worked Aaron and I went to different schools we met here in Barcelona he was on the west coast I was on the east coast anyway both training 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 to get to a level of competence and over the years we did that we got pretty good and then it was with my wife when she's like hey will you guys put on adjusting seminars and we realized, okay, we've learned how to adjust pretty well, but how do we teach it? 
And we sucked at teaching so hard. So we applied that okay. same mindset of like, okay, how are we going to nerd out on this? How can we, how can we get people to get it as quickly as possible? How can we create the container for just rapid assimilation of this? What are the absolute things they have to have and they're not good at? It? And we just, we send that we, every single time we sit down after a seminar and we continue to evolve this. So, you know, you've been to several centropy seminars now, no two are the same. They continue to get more yeah. involved because we just obsess about this. We love it so much. And we love that Sunday at the end where everybody's just so happy and they're like, oh my God, I've learned so much. And they feel connected to chiropractic again. Mm. And that's really what drives us. For sure. Yeah, that's one of the things that I love um, about the seminars. Um, that you also are humble enough to tell us that even you are evolving. And I remember going to that first seminar, then go to the then going to the same seminar a few quarters later, and the teaching was a little bit different. You added some stuff that could help us a little bit more, and that's because you're always evolving too. So <clears throat> what inspired you day by day? Because, you know, like sometimes when you are in this process, you start losing like focus, mm -hmm. and you start becoming, you know, like, um, comfortable in your same spot how do you move on how do you change perspective and get motivated day by day mm -hmm. um i i want to speak to one thing you said earlier and it was about uh, being humble um and it's well i remember going to these other seminars when i was a student so if you're watching this and you're a student right now and you've gone to seminars and you've asked a question and then the seminar leader made you feel like an idiot and like just oh my god how would you possibly ask that you're just like the whole feeling of I had that happen a lot and with uh, other trainers who are like maybe they wouldn't make you feel like an idiot because you ask a question but because um I just it was like they had this something special they were they were mystical and I wasn't and I would never be able to be as good as them you know and so we want to make sure that when we're teaching that we transmit if we can do it you can do it I don't care if you're a man woman big, small, it doesn't matter because it's all about the principles that we break down and teach. So I just want to make sure that was super, super clear before we, we move on. We're very, very aware that we're evolving. Mm -hmm. We don't think that we're the best in the world ever. It's like, we're always going to be getting better and better and better. And we hope that for you as well. Yeah. Okay. And in terms of what inspires me um, from a practice level is just watching the day-to-day -day miracles, watching people's lives change. And on the same level, what inspires me teaching chiropractors and chiropractic students is watching that light bulb go off and watching them get reconnected to the principal, watching them get reconnected to chiropractic and watching them get inspired to like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to take this seriously. I'm going to become a master and seeing that it's not Aaron or myself. When we see people get that idea, I can do this too. That's what drives us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I remember I remember one thing that you said in one of the seminar, which, um, wow, transcend to me, was that you were us at some point. You know, like, stop putting people into pedestal because you can become that person if you keep training, you know? And, you know, if you think about it, you know, because we see you doing the adjustment and we get, you know, like mesmerized, like how, how can somebody become so good at something? And it's like you say, with training, we mm -hmm. all have the potential to get there. Some people don't get there because they don't do but they're supposed to, they're supposed to train. So going around that um, or going in that direction, what can you tell me to incorporate in my routine to become better? Um, what's a good routine? Um, what should I stop doing? How can I stay in track and always you know, move forward? Okay, I think that we're to, to kind of final final thought here before we wrap up is um, hang around people that are inspiring to you and get in groups of people who are just dedicated like you are, Vicent, because you've 
you're a busy guy and you have a family and you're doing all this stuff and you decided to be the head of the Centropy Club and bring that to people. And that's a space where people can go train. And so our number one recommendation right now, if you're a student listening to this, get to a club, get to Centropy Club with Vincent. He's going to take you through the principles that we teach mm -hmm. and then train on a regular basis, obsess about it. Stop worrying about all the other BS you have to do. Like just get through that and focus on what you love. Absolutely. Yeah. That's the thing. You got to train it. You got to train it. You got to train it. You got to get connected to it and make it a regular part. Otherwise, just like everybody else, you're going to get worn down. Everybody's got to go through the hoops, but getting connected to chiropractic, getting connected to the adjustment, getting connected to what you came to chiropractic school to do is what's going to give you the fuel to get through that other stuff. So everybody, if you're listening to this right now, please make sure and make it to Centropy Club. Be sure to make it to Centropy Club. And October, we're coming yes. back. We will be in Marietta. We'll be teaching. Um, we have our a, a seminar coming up. Check it out on our webpage. Um, come. Don't miss it. You'll yeah. take your game to the next level. Doesn't matter if you're just starting out in school. This is for you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. One last question for Patrick. Patrick, if you were... I mean, you know, like, there are some people, um, some chiropractors that specialize in one technique. Like, let's say, toggle for, toggle for the upper cervical, and they just do that. They mm -hmm. only do that. If you were to choose one syntropy adjustment, what would that be? Oh, thank God we don't have to. I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> I but love I, them all, too. Yeah. I mean, being all an right. expert at clearing the cranial cervical junction would be the top, top thing on my list. Make sure, like... Master it all, but make sure you can clear this. That's where the miracles happen. That's where the life switch in man. Perfect. Aaron, if you wouldn't be a chiropractor, what would you be right now? <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about this today. I was washing some dishes and I was like meditating, washing dishes. I would be a dishwasher. I would, no, no, I, I've done <laughs> okay. that in my life. I would be, I would be a gardener. I would be oh, a gardener. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. And I would be connected with nature and I would be fully, uh, I think that's such a beautiful way to be commune with nature and really be part of it. So that's it. All right. Um, what's next for Syntropy? What's in the future for Syntropy? When is the book coming out? When, you know, like, what's your plan? Future plans for Syntropy? <laughs> we we want to keep reaching more and more students and chiropractors make our seminar seminars bigger and we have a few things we're not ready to reveal just yet that are very very exciting oh. that, are, that are coming within the next six months or so it's gonna be pretty awesome it's gonna be awesome yeah. yeah but our vision is just to create more and more of the best adjusters on the planet that are able to consistently deliver an undeniable experience we feel that's what's going to move the profession forward for your offices for your people and for humanity as a whole. So we're looking so, forward to it. Awesome, awesome, brother. Well, guys, thank you very much for taking time of your busy schedule to be here with me. I hope um, we can stay in touch, see each other, come, you know, like more seminars, more get togethers. We need to do this a lot. So let's do it. Let's do awesome. it. Thank you. See you soon. See ya. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs>